and yet they all love each other. I mean, isn't that amazing? I mean, it's the most amazing thing. I mean, you look at the groups we have. I mean, think about our thrifters over here, right? I mean, I guarantee you there's lots of things you all sell that are the exact same, but the love and the passion and the commitment and support you all have for others is just unbelievable. And there's so many groups like that across eBay, and it's truly what makes eBay, us all, what makes it so special and unique. So what we want to do is talk a little bit about that here. And so I'd like to invite up to stage um, three of our community members um, to come up and uh, spend some time with us. So I'd like to invite uh, Vivian Vassar, uh, Melissa Paz, and Patty Whitlock to come up on stage. Hey, woo! privilege over my uh, past, my first two and a half years of getting to know uh, all three of uh, the ladies up here, um, whether it's uh, Vivian at our DC Seller Fly-In, Melissa through our eBay podcast, uh, Patty through some Facebook groups, um, and just been blown away by their commitment and their passion for our community and how they give back. And so what we thought we'd do is just spend a little bit of time talking about that. It will start with, uh, just love to maybe, if each one of you could just share a little bit about your business and your store and how long you've, uh, you've been on eBay. Okay, so I'm Patty Whitlock and uh, I have, my user ID is the shopping mom too. And I've been selling on eBay for 18 years. I have a meetup group in Florida. And I'm also, I also have a Facebook group, um, eBay, eBay, and nothing but eBay. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Melissa Paz. I started selling on eBay. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> I started selling eBay back in 2005 when I was a college kid, and uh, it's changed a lot since then. Um, the, the store name is Lazy Breeze Deals, and I sell uh, travel gear, so luggage and backpacks. So anytime you guys are traveling, take a look. Uh, <laughs> I'm part of the ambassador program with the government relations team. Um, I participate in different panels through eBay, and uh, so it's just really excited to be here. Hi, I'm Vivian Vassar, and I'm the owner of Hey Viv Inc. It's Hey Viv Retro Clothing. I've been in business for 30 plus years, and on eBay since 1999. Woo! And uh, I am proud to be here. This is great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So maybe Viv, we'll start with uh, with you. Um, so as I, Viv and I met at the DC Fly in this year, Sarah talked a little bit about eBay advocates and um, how we bring a number of, 20, this year was 25 sellers from across the country uh, to Washington DC to represent uh, on, all on your behalf as eBay sellers, the, the voice of eBay sellers uh, in Washington, D.C. There's so many voices up there. And so met Viv there, but she's also super active in meetup groups. And I know you've got a great story about how you got meetup groups started. So Viv, love to you know, tell us your story about the meetup groups. Sure. Uh, when I started in 1999, um, first of all, I didn't have a computer, so I had to go buy one. Then I hired a tutor to actually show me how to use the computer. And I realized as I started selling on eBay that I didn't have a pool of knowledge. You know, you're in retail, you've been to a store, you know how to buy things. And I started looking around saying, how can I learn? I uh, thought about it and said, you know, if I want to find other sellers, I bet you they're at the post office. So I went to the post office, hung out there, and watched for people who had a lot of packages. <laughs> and I talked to the mailman. And I said, I'm looking for people who are selling on eBay. I have a local business who will let us use their conference room. And sure enough, we found about five people. And we ran that group for over 10 years. And as we met, we would 
pick a topic and one of the members of the group would say, okay, I'll learn what a keyword is. I don't like keyword, who knows what that is. I'll learn it and I'll come back next week and teach the group. So we were a very self-help uh, group. And then of course, as things grew and now there's customer service, there's plenty of people who sell on eBay. And um, we went to Washington. Uh, we got the word out, we got some people as a follow-up to that. Can I talk about that? Yeah, go ahead, this is a great story. Okay, in Washington, I met, I went to Dan Donovan's office, Congressman Dan Donovan, who is, uh, represents our district. And he's a little notorious for not wanting to meet with people. He's a Republican, he's afraid that we're gonna yell at him. Okay, so, the meeting went so well with eBay's support in the office of Dan Donovan, I spoke to his staff, that they contacted me after the trip and arranged a follow-up visit with Dan Donovan and asked me to bring as many eBay sellers as I could. And we had the meeting. It was very successful. It was covered in the local news. And I really have to thank eBay for their support because they helped me find the people, figure out our agenda, and set up the meeting. So thank you. So Patty, maybe we'll uh, we'll turn to you. I know. Um, I mean, you're well known for your, your uh, how you interact on our community boards, in Facebook groups, meetup groups. Uh, maybe share a little bit of your story about how just what you do in our community. Okay, so I'm, I'm very involved with the uh, eBay community, the community boards, uh, more so than the Facebook, uh, Facebook groups. But um, in the eBay community boards, you can find all kinds of people and you can find all kinds of help, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and tell Two stories, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> so the first story is um, I was in the fashion floor and it was Christmas and I had a lot of um, medical issues and so the budget was not there for buying Christmas toys or Christmas stuff for my kids. And one of my kids wanted an electric guitar and I knew yeah, that it was not on the budget. So that night I hopped on the board and there was somebody that had posted that they were going to pay it forward, okay, and that anybody that wanted an electric guitar could go ahead and put their name and the first person that put their name will get the electric guitar. Okay, so I was there, it was supposed to late. I'm a late, you know, I'm a, a, a night owl. And so I said, me, 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 me. So this lady sent my child a Gibson electric guitar for free, no shipping, no nothing, with the case, with the books, and her son, the owner of the guitar, called my child and told him what to do with the guitar. Okay, so it was amazing. amazing. Okay, so then the second story was this um, This lady comes over again on the fashion board and says that she found five St. John outfits. And St. John is a very expensive brand. And the thrift store wanted $60, but she didn't have the money. One of the boardies uh, there, one of the posters, sent her $300 so she could go back to the thrift store and purchase those outfits. She went back, she purchased them, sold them on eBay immediately, almost immediately, and sent the, the person that gave her the money the $300 back. Yeah. It's very, very nice Incredible. to go ahead and get involved with the community because they have they, they care. You, you become a family when you get on the boards and you know you can find all kinds of advice and everything. If you can't get it, you don't want to go ahead and go on the phone and call customer service. You can go ahead and go on the boards and get an answer within minutes of you know you posting it. So I recommend that. And Melissa, so you've been involved in the ambassador program, you've gone to women's conferences, you've run a meetup group. I mean, uh, talk about you know your experiences in our community. 
All right, so I kind of started similar to Vivian that I needed a community. I felt alone uh, working from my home as a you know, stay-at-home mom. And uh, um, I couldn't find a meetup in my area or the ones that were around me were too far. So I actually went on Facebook and um, asked around to see if anybody knew of one or could help me set it up. And Dana Crawford actually reached out to me and she's a huge part of the eBay community as well. I didn't know who she was. I didn't know any of this. I was brand new um, and I just needed to learn from other people. So she helped me set up the meetup and um, about a year later, eBay flew out a few of the meetup leaders and I was able to participate in that event. And that led to then going to eBay 20. I signed up for the ambassador program. Then two weeks later, they flew me out to speak in Utah, uh, which was the first time I had ever spoken to a, a group that was that was uh, 300 people and now it's like 2,000. <laughs> so uh, that was a really, really, really great experience. I met Sarah Brubacher there and um, it's just been, you know, just one thing led to the other. I've met so many amazing people I've gotten so many new friends and connections and I've been able to help many other people as well and that's part of the reason that I love the community is that they are so open so generous with their information and you can help other people and impact their lives and they're impacting yours and it, I just love that give and take that's right. <laughs> okay um, Melissa maybe we'll come back to you first yep so we've got Obviously, 1,500 sellers here. M many are involved in the community, but many of this may be their first time visiting an eBay Open or going to an eBay event. We've obviously got other folks watching via the webcast. You know, what would be your advice on how to get involved in the community? I think um, you got to choose whatever's more comfortable to you. So, if you prefer to be in person, then go to a meetup. If you prefer, you know online than Facebook or the community boards, but there's many different ways and it's just a matter of reaching out and going and, and once you get involved, it just becomes kind of addictive. You kind of want to keep doing it and doing it. Um, then you got to be careful that it doesn't become a huge time suck on Facebook. <laughs> so you have to balance it out, but it, there is so many different ways. You just got to find what's most comfortable for you. Hi, what about you? My passion has always been kids. I love kids and you know and, and I want to go ahead and help them out so I, um, I started a program in the local high school where seniors before they get to graduate okay can go ahead and learn how to sell on eBay to offset expenses for college so I get together with them and I teach them so but I was also running an after-school program and there was this little kid and he comes over he says I hear you sell on eBay and I say yeah I do and he says can you go ahead and teach me how to sell Legos I hear they make a lot of money these sellers that sell Legos <laughs> Said, well, you gotta get your mommy to get you an account. <laughs> I will, but you teach me. <laughs> so, Viv, what advice would you give to other sellers about how to get involved in the community? Hang out at the post office. <laughs> we have uh, one of the top postal uh, service folks here, the Parker said. this whole thing is it's a lifelong learning experience and as you talk to each other in this community Facebook wherever you're communicating with other sellers and you're teaching each other and you're working together and then you find out some of the issues especially with the emails and the information that eBay sends out it's I think you just get inspired to reach out a little more um, I do something called coffee with Viv People in Staten Island know that I'm a successful seller, and people will call me and contact me and say, could you meet with my friend? He wants to sell, fill in the blank. And I say, okay, one hour, we have coffee, you can pick my brains. Now, uh, what is, uh, what there is of it, but, uh, so I put a time limit on because I want them to come prepared with questions, and have it, an idea of what they want to know. So we sit and, don't worry, I don't keep them to the hour. We can go a little over. But usually what I do is I question them, let them talk about what they want to do, and then I point them to the community boards on eBay. I say, go on Facebook, join. Kathy Terrell has a terrific Face 3 
terrific Facebook pages. And I just say, you will learn from everybody and talk to them, and you will become involved in what's going on on eBay, and you'll learn, and you'll be great. So I think it's a learning experience great. to be part of the eBay community, and it's an inspiration. We all want to have a little fun for a minute? All right. So we'll show, show everybody how we might a little, little, put a little color in our community, huh? All right. A couple here. Here, couple here. All right. Don't want to put them together. We're do a little, uh, show them a little color in the community. All right. Now, does anybody notice that there's some color underneath your all's chairs? Huh? What if we put? Lots of color in our community. Huh? So what if I ask everybody to stand up? You won't come around behind me. Let's hold all the colors up in the air. And we're gonna do like one really large color eBay selfie. Are you all with me? Everybody got them up? All right, on the count of three, we're all gonna yell one, two, three, eBay! All right, hey, thank you all so much. Look, our community is something that's incredibly special. It's all really about you all. Hopefully you took that away from Patty and Melissa and Viv. Let's thank them for coming up and sharing their stories. Took anything away from what we talked about today? It's about getting involved, give back, take, but so be involved in the community. Thanks so much. We we'll invite Sarah back up. Good job, ladies. Say hi, babe. And this is completely awesome. So I could not agree with how more the message.